this is Lee, and this is the Dad Bod Vlog. So, today we received, actually I received this last week, but thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing because everybody really likes unboxing things on the internet for some reason. Not really sure. Diet's been going well, but I'm not, of course, relying totally on using Weight Watchers to realize my health goals. So, I'm also going to be doing some training, some workouts, whatever you want to call it. You know, tomato, potato, I guess. I'm going to be doing some resistance training or weightlifting or whatever. Uh, I don't have a particular program that I think I'm going to subscribe to just yet. Uh, back when I used to lift weights, I would do, uh, I really like these 5x5 five five programs. Um, they seem to give you the best of both worlds uh, when you're talking about strength versus building muscle, <laughs> even though I was still fat. I have a membership to the YMCA and I really just keep it because of my son and my wife. They both get a bit more use out of it than I do. Um, not to say that the weight room at the YMCA isn't great, there's lots of other good stuff to it, but I really just prefer that old iron weight room feel, I guess. Also, it takes like 30 minutes to get there and then another 30 minutes to get back. And being a dad who works full time, you know, an hour for just commuting to go work out. Well, if that's the only option you have, you better do it. But I have some space in my garage and I kind of want to put together a more complete garage gym. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time because it allows you to maximize time. You get to actually pick the, the equipment you have. <clears throat> Sometimes the equipment at the gym can just be straight up garbage. So not that having better equipment is going to make you stronger. It's really an attitude thing. But I mean, if you can do it, why not? Um, and I think if I, if I actually put together a garage gym, I will have fewer excuses to go work out. I've started to order a few things problem is, right now is with the whole COVID thing, um, lots of things are just sold out because a lot of these meatheads that couldn't go to the gym started making their own garage gyms, and the price of gym equipment went freaking through the roof like freaking stonks. Rogue, Titan, Rev, York, Titan, uh, what, I don't know, Bowflex, is that still a thing? They probably are raking in the dough right now. So, hindsight 2020, buy your stock and fitness equipment, I guess. Actually, GameStop. <laughs> oh man, that's great. One of the things that I, I really need, I've got a few things, like I, I have a pretty basic crappy barbell and some basic crappy plate weights and a very vintage basic crappy squat rack that I'll probably show you later. They're kind of cool. Um, and by cool, I mean lame. I needed some dumbbells, so I bought some power blocks. The thing with dumbbells is to get a full set, like from five pounds to, I don't know, 125 or something like that, you're talking like thousands of dollars, or at least over $8,000. They're really expensive, and they take up a lot of room, and with a garage gym, usually space is a premium. Adjustable dumbbells really just made the most sense for me. And if you go to the internet and you look up anything about adjustable dumbbells and garage gyms, literally everyone suggests power blocks. They seem to give you the best price versus quality ratio. I think with shipping, these ended up being like 400 bucks. I mean, it's still a good chunk of change. That's like a quarter of the price of maybe would it be to get a pair of decent rubber hex head dumbbells. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm pretty excited.
this is a power block. Pretty simple. Except it's crazy looking, right? Like, why is it a square? I don't know. The real benefit is this is scalable from 15 pounds all the way up to 90 pounds. I just got the basic set for right now. What this basically is, is gives you 15 to 50 pounds. This, this right here is 15 to 50 pounds in a single dumbbell. And this is all the room it takes up, which is friggin' fantastic, honestly. Or I think so anyways. The design of it is pretty unique. So the way it works is you have this clip and there's actually magnets on the inside of it so it kind of clips in and magnetically attaches itself and you have these different pins here different colors and actually what's pretty neat I'll show this in a second it's it's really easy to kind of read exactly what you're doing so if you want I don't know 20 pounds you just select this top one here slide in the mechanism, bang, 20 pounds. Super easy, right? I, I think so. And that's, that's really it. Each one of these, just put this here for a second. So each one of these little sets of plates and a bar is 10 pounds. So it goes up in 10 pound increments with the plates on the side, you think. That's kind of not that great. What if I need, you know, 25 pounds or something like that? So, try not to scratch up my coffee table so my wife doesn't get mad. Here's the handle. Now, the handle is actually loaded with some weights as well. Just the handle with the added weights in the handle is um, 10 pounds. It's 10 pounds. You have a switch on the top. It's flicked to close. Put it to open. And it has these little weight discs on the inside which add weight to the handle. And these are both in the amount of two and a half pounds. So if you want to go up in five pound increments, you can actually take these out. This is five pounds. Rack it back in. You can go up by five pound increments. If you want to go up by two and a half pound increments, you can load the handle with one adder, lock it in, and boom. Pretty simple, I think. You're ready to go to town. I guess I'll talk about more later. I've actually never used one of these, so I'm going into this blind. I was just trusting the internet, which you definitely shouldn't do. But so far it's great. Uh, I can see why so many people recommend it. It's very compact, um, very easy to read. Uh, one of the cool things, I was talking about how it's really easy to read. You actually have a little diagram on the front. It has all the colors. So each one of these plates has a color um, associated with that specific plate and tells you how much they are um, with an unloaded handle versus with a fully loaded handle with the weight adders. So that's pretty great. Pretty cool. I'm trying to get some other things. I really need a bench. So the one I want has been sold out for like two months. Go figure. I'm gonna be doing some more workouts. I really just wanted some dumbbells so I could do dumbbell curls so I can get guns or something. Also they can be used for lots of different pulling and pressing motions uh, where you isolate just one arm versus using a barbell where you're recruiting more muscles. It's good to just change it up. It's just one more tool in the arsenal and just about any workout program you do utilizes some type of dumbbell. Can you use other stuff? Yes. This stuff is not necessary. You could go out and freaking grab heavy rocks or something. This feels a lot better. It's easier to use. You know how much it weighs. Thought I would just unbox this. That was cool. Thought maybe, I don't know, be interesting. It's probably not. Coming up on two months I've been on Weight Watchers. I'm gonna do another overview of that. Maybe talk about that a little more, what's changed, uh, how the progress is going, and just 
give more thoughts on that. One of the things that has happened, <laughs> uh, I haven't really fallen off the diet, even though my wife is trying to make me make bad decisions with my food because she's out there living her best life. I was a strong lad and resisted. I'm motivated and I am not stopping until I hit my goals and those goals are going to change along the way and I am motivated to see all of this through. So, ladies and gents, you stay motivated too. Go kill it.